Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. I'm going to get an immediate reaction to the Jacobs Ryder um, fight um, and and the decision, um, which was. Well, we'll get into it. Uh, before we do, please share and subscribe. Find uh, please uh, share 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, all from social media. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. So please like, share, and subscribe to that channel as well. Um, all right, let's let's get. Let's get into the uh, let's get into the news. Uh, let's get into the writer fight. Um, first off, I, I scored at one sixteen, one twelve for Jacobs. I could see anywhere from one sixteen, one twelve Jacobs uh, to a draw. You can't get any more than a draw, and I, I, I'll explain. Jacobs won the first six rounds. Clearly, Jacobs won the first six rounds. So Ryder didn't knock him down, and there were no point deductions, no ten eight rounds. No one scored any 10 8 rounds. There was no 10 8 rounds. So, Ryder can't win because, you know, math, right? Um, there's 12 rounds. If I win the first six, you need to get the second six just to get the draw. And it's reasonable. You could score the last six rounds for Ryder. If you did, you can get to a draw. He won the seventh, he won the eighth, he won the ninth. The 10th, 11th, and 12th, he you can split those up. If you give them all for Ryder, which I wouldn't suggest, but you could do that, you get a draw. I gave the 11th and 12th to Jacobs. You could give those to Ryder. To all three of those rounds are toss-up rounds. Um, three toss-up rounds. For six, for Jacobs, seven, eight, nine for Ryder, 10, 11, 12. Eh, that's a little more difficult to score. So anywhere from 117 and 111 to a draw. Is where you can have that fight. Those are the reasonable scorecards. What's not reasonable is scoring anything for Ryder. What's not reasonable is uh, Judge Mike Fitzgerald, who after six rounds had to fight three rounds to three. He had it even at the midway point. Ryder didn't win any of the rounds. Ryder won none of the first six rounds. You can't even make an argument. That he won. He didn't do anything. He couldn't get on the inside. He was content on losing the rounds. He was giving the rounds away, doing nothing. Now Jacobs wasn't stealing the show. Jacobs wasn't making, wasn't punishing him, making him pay. But he won the rounds. He clearly won the first six. There's, there's, there's just no question about it. There's not a round there that you can even suggest Ryder won. So at that point, if there's no knockdowns, no point deductions, there's no possible way to get that to Ryder. The closest you can have it is a draw. I think a draw is reasonable. Anywhere from 117, 111, to 114, 114. Um, as for the fight itself, outside of the, uh, you know, Gabe Rosado said, you know, I guess what was given an opportunity to take this fight, he turned it down, and and during the fight he said, "Well, this is why because it is you can't get a decision in the UK against the hometown fighter, and you can't ask ask, um, ask Andre Durrell, right? Like you can't get it; it's not going to happen. So let's just move past that, right? Um, but this is why you can't get it; you can't get a decision. Um, as for the fight itself, look, Jacobs, I. I Outboxed him for the first six rounds. I thought Jacob should have picked it up. I thought Jacob should have tried to break him down. He should have went to the body more. He should have stepped on the gas a little bit. I'm not saying he gets him out in the first six rounds. What I am saying is he breaks him down, he hurts him, and he kind of takes some of the fight out of Ryder. Ryder was content on just being outboxed. He was never really hurt in the first six rounds. You know, Jacob's out of the southpaw stance, landed some uh, nice left hands and, and things like that. 
but he never really hurt Ryder. Um, and you're not going to run. And I don't want to say Jacobs is running because he really wasn't. But you're going to have to stand in with Ryder at some point. He's too good just to kind of keep him at bay for 12 rounds. And it worked for six, and it didn't work for the back six. And Ryder ran and he hurt him in the second. In the ninth, it hurt, it beat him, uh, hurt him in the eighth, punched him, right? Um, but that's really all there was to it, right? Like, he gave away too many rounds. Um, Jacobs needed to punish him more, put step on the gas more, right? Not just be content with putting 10 9 rounds in the bank, right? Um, he needed to stop him, slow him down, make it so he can't come after you, make it so he's, he's broken down, gas, winded, a defeated fire, like Canelo would do. Right, so he he doesn't have it in him to come forward. He doesn't have the strength. He doesn't have the gas tank left to do that because you've broken him down over the first half of the fight. What Ryder needed to do was to start earlier, and I know that's easier said than done. But after three rounds, you need to put your foot on the gas. It's a twelve round fight. You can't just give away all these rounds. Which I guess if he knew, you know, the judges are going to score him from whether he wins or not, that after losing the first six rounds, one judge has it even, which is, I don't even know what to make of it. That is one of the worst scorecards ever. That's uh, an Eddie Vasquez, Raymond Ford type route. I mean, that's ridiculous. Now, he ended up only having it 115, 113, because I guess once he scored it, you know, once he had the rounds for, for Ryder, it doesn't matter how many Ryder wins by, he scored the fight for Ryder. Give him seven rounds, that's all he needs. But rest assured, Mike Fitzgerald was going to score seven rounds for John Ryder. No question about it, okay? And the first six rounds of that fight is all the evidence we need for that because he's caught at 3-3. But Ryder needed to start early. Ryder needed to get to the body. Ryder needed to punish him. Ryder needed to do exactly what he did in the second half. He just needed to start earlier. Uh, Now, where does Ryder go from here? I don't know. You know, um, he's a WBA uh, WBA eliminator. Um, A Canelo fight. I mean, Canelo would vacate before he fights him. Can he fight David Morrell? Can they do that? Right, David Morrell has the regular belt versus Ryder. I think it's a good fight. Morrell beats him, but that's a good fight. I really wanted to see Jacobs win, so I can see Jacobs and Morrell. But Ryder versus Morrell is a good fight too. I don't. It's going to be tough to make, but I think it can be made. I think it's a good fight for both guys. Um, and it's exactly what Morrell needs. Now, I think Ryder would lose because I think Morrell's really special, but that's a good fight. What's next for Jacobs? I, unfortunately, I, I, it's weird, right? Ryder probably got robbed against uh, Cal Smith, right? He probably did. He probably deserved that. Jacobs was given a gift probably against Gabe. I guess the universe kind of figured this out, right? The universe you said, okay, we, we give it. Right, we take it. We took one away from Ryder. We're gonna give him one. We gave Ryder. We gave Jacobs one. We're gonna take one away from him now. Right? I guess it all evens out, but that doesn't make this right. Jacobs lost this fight. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. How did you have it? Did you think Jacobs won? If not, tell me which round of the first six you thought Ryder won. Because unless you can give him one of the first six, he can't win the fight. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, it is February 12th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.